Hello, my friend. Welcome. Welcome back to my channel. Here I am with another great, great tutorial. Uh, on this video, I will give you an idea how you can make that, what you see on your screen. That go uh, between the rear seat and the rear uh, glass or a classic bolt wagon. So I will give you a basic idea how you can make it on this video. So stay tuned. Um, that is a compressed wood. That is the measurement of the wood. It's a, a half in thickness. It will have two layers. First, uh, I get a drill bit and I cut the hole. That hole should be the side of the speaker. Uh, the speaker will be behind the wood. Most of the time, we we'll mount them on top, but it will go behind. You will see it, that process. I cut it and I sand it, and it will go like that. So as you can see, it will go like that. Then I use a jigsaw and cut the wood, following the line. I use the uh, uh, circular, uh, circular uh, saw. That one is one layer. This is other layer. This will go on top. And you can see how like a special shape. So I just follow that line and use the jigsaw and cut it. I got that piece already, then I cut the other piece of wood and I had two layers of wood. This will go in there. So after this, I move to the router uh, table and start uh, using those uh, router bits and start uh, take it in, taper out. I wanna eliminate some edges of that wood. You can see right there. And I will do the same thing right here too. And I will do the same on one layers of wood. Same bit, same thing. See? And then I will uh, replace the bit to do this. Why I am doing that part? You, I will show you later on for what it is that part. See? Just be careful, adjust that proper uh, tool. I got that one, and I will use the same bit to taper it right here. So this is so important, my friend. And you can see I wrapped uh, that part already with trunk lining material the, uh, around that uh, circle. And I had this metal mesh. So to uh, mold in this, look what I have. I think I, I am not sure if I have, how do I make that, uh, like a box. I am not sure if I have that process on this channel, but for sure I have it on my Spanish YouTube channel. So I put that one on there. I lift this layer and then I get the metal mesh, put them on top. I get this wood and put them on top. Then I get a other layer of wood, one inch thickness and put the metal on top. I move on to the a metal press machine and this is so easy I just type it right there type a little bit then I do it this way and that will push down or compress and by me doing that I am molding the metal mesh to the first wood that I put them on there with a uh, mountain tape you can see those wood how they are getting closer together Okay, then I release the pressure, and there it is. I take it to the table, and you will see what happened. There it is. Where you can buy that screen? Amazon. Amazon have a lot of style of those uh, metal mesh. Amazon, and it's cheaper. Home Depot have like a something similar. Uh, Lowe's to uh, even Harbor Freight in the United States. So the metal mesh will be right there. When I done doing that, I uh, I uh, hold those two wood with uh, wood screw and sanding all around, making sure it's nice and smooth. I used a router for doing that, but I, it doesn't hurt to do it manually too. Then I am putting a glue on top of the wood. Same thing on the one egg 
closed cell phone. That is a closed cell phone, my friend. I sand it on top, make it sure it's nice and smooth, no bump. And then I glue it all around. Simple and easy. And cut the excess uh, uh, foam. It has some sharp angle. I want to get rid of that. How? Just by sanding. You can see it. You can see it right there. I cut the part and I put the wood. This wood, the wood I just sent me dropping on there, it has to be a little bit loose, my friend. Why? Because when you wrap it with vinyl or with fabric or with leather, that will increase the size. So make sure when you put it with that material, it is loose like right now. And I added those pieces or so, uh, waterproof door, uh, door panel board. What you see me put them on there is 1A thickness. I don't know why they call uh, waterproof door panel board. If it is not waterproof, but I don't know why they call it like that. When I go to uh, Keystone Bros, they say it's a waterproof door panel board. But I don't get it. If it get wet, uh, I don't get it. But that, that's that's how they call it on Keystone Bros. Maybe another uh, another um, provider have a different name. I put glue on the vinyl, then I put glue on the top of the phone and and let it dry. Make sure before you put the material, my friend, to clean it because sometimes we'll see a little bit of material in there and remove it because any bump you will be able to see it, that bump through the material. So make sure to get rid of, clean it. See, I am using a, that bond come on the uh, C3 uh, B and W. Uh, rear window. And you can see, I don't pull it too much because if I pull it too much, uh, that will uh, come in and down later on. So just uh, put them on top. You can see first I start by the center. Why I start on the center? Because all around that hole, the material is loose, it's not tight. If I done everything else except that hole, the material will be tight and will be so hard to mold it according to that uh, shape that I have. So that was first you saw me glue in the center. Start from the center. This vinyl it doesn't it doesn't stretch that much. Then I start pulling. pulling all around when you pull on this kind of phone it doesn't matter that much because it is a solid uh, closed cell phone but let's say if you are using a quarter of an inch headliner phone or a half inch uh, thickness phone uh, that we gotta be careful when we pull it uh, because when we pull it, it has to be consistent or the way will look like weird but right here it doesn't uh, affect that much because it is a solid 1A thickness closed cell phone. 
And you can see I am cutting all the leftover and I am putting a staple too on the corner. Why on the corner? Because uh, that is where the pressure of the material. And I pull all around too. Then I put the speaker on top. I put the metal mesh on, on, on top and then you can see that we will be right there. If it is tight, my friend, with a uh, uh, wrapping with vinyl, make sure to sand it by using the rotor or do it manually. What happens if it is tight and you don't sand it? When you wrap it with material, my friend, it will be so tight. So tight. So I make sure to that piece get in uh, the loose with a uh, material. You can see I start from the center first. I start from the uh, from the inside first. Why? Because it is easier. This material doesn't stretch stretch that much. That's why I start from the uh, inside first. And I always uh, recommend you to start from the inside first. What happens if I don't start from the inside first and I wrap it? the outside first and then right here will be tight my friend will be harder harder to do it that way there is an exception my friend uh, uh, when you can start from outside first when the material is stretch a lot if the material stretch a lot it doesn't matter if you start from inside or outside it doesn't matter my friend so I wrap it then I uh, cut the excess material. I want to make sure to uh, that binder stay flush uh, to the wood. I just trim a little bit more right here. And I'm using a metal cutter, scissor. And there it is, my friend. I will I'll hold that uh, screen with the staple. And then I put them on there. There it is. How do I hold that black piece into that wood? Well, with the screw. That's how I hold it. Four screws more than enough. And before I put those screws in there, I make sure it doesn't go through all the way. So if you are doing something like this, you gotta make sure. Before you uh, drill any hole, you put any screw, make sure you had the right side of that screw. Then I bolt that, uh, screw that speaker, and then I will build the box around that speaker and wrap it with trunk lining. But that is the easiest part, and that it is. I just have to wrap it with a a, a gray uh, trunk lining material. My friend, I give you a basic idea how you can do this. It is hard. It is not hard, my friend. It is not hard. You have to have that tool, yes. But what happens if you don't have that metal press machine? You can try to do it manually. Manually. I think I have a video right here on this English YouTube channel on how you can make it manually in case if you don't have that metal press machine. I think, but for sure I have the video on my Spanish YouTube channel. I am pretty sure I have it on my Spanish YouTube channel. And you can find my Spanish YouTube channel in the description of this video. You can find me in there. On my Spanish YouTube channel, I have more than a thousand videos, my friend. More than a thousand videos. And right here, I have like 300, I think. I'm not sure, but around that 300. So my friend, there it is. I give you an, a basic idea how you can make that speaker boombox. Thank you so much for being here. Before you leave, my friend, uh, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, share my videos, any comment, leave it in the comment section of this video. So thank you so much. See you soon in the next video. Ciao, ciao.